with Crowder is brought to you in part by Crowder.com Head over to the shop, support the fight and buy some cool threads It's the Tits Pajamas Crowder.com Hey everyone, welcome to Climate Changers My name's Alfonso Blue And I'm Alicia Green Today we're going to be talking about the rising temperatures of our planet Earth. Rising temperatures? But it's not even that hot out. I'm even wearing this jacket. Okay, bigot. Sure you don't want to be at a Trump rally right now? Just kidding. We all know Alicia loves science. But temperature can be deceiving, so let's take you through it. Yeah. Did you know that according to our very own scientists at NASA, that our planet's temperature has been increasing by 0.13 degrees Fahrenheit per decade? That's almost 0.015 degrees Fahrenheit per year. Hmm, I do love the planet and science, but that just doesn't sound like a lot to me. I thought you might say that, so that's why I brought these burgers to demonstrate. I made our little friend here, let's call him, hmm, Donald, to demonstrate the effects of Earth's temperature on a scale that's easy to visualize. Say Alicia, how does little Don look? Well, I guess he looks all right to me. He does now, but let's check back in a few minutes. How about now, Alicia? Wow, he looks really hot. I guess something that you don't think is a big deal right in the moment can cook you alive later on. Exactly, now you're getting it. Tune in next week to see what you, the average viewer, can do about it. Hey everyone, Alicia Green here again. You may have noticed that sometimes during the show, I might pretend to question climate change, but I can assure you that is for educational effect only. In real life, I trust the science 100%. It may be all right to have a few questions about climate change once in a while, especially if you're younger. But if you know someone that repeatedly rejects scientific fact, no matter what, take down their name, address, and any social media information you can find. If they're an adult, or your parent, make sure to get a copy of their photo ID, then call this number, or send it to this email address. Thanks guys, let's keep changing the planet. That's the let Disgust. the salty tears commence sip. Yeah. <laughs> salty? Bring it! I'm going to see ocean levels rising. Oh. As well, look, not really. You slurp them we'll, all up. We'll get through that, but I hope to see open <laughs> le- uh, ocean levels rising here. We're doing the entire show. The entire show today is on climate change. Really, climate claims, rather. And by the way, that's the promo code. Enter climate claims. Yeah. At ladderwithcrowder.com slash mug club, you get $10 off. Oh, nice. And I do ask that everyone out here, use the hashtag today yes. on social media. Hashtag climate claims. Let me explain to you uh, what we're going to be doing, okay? I know that a lot of you are going to say, hey, wait a second, you're not a scientist. That's absolutely true. And neither are you. 
Now, That's how for works. example, what's the third law of thermodynamics? If you didn't answer instantly, why do you think that the ice caps are melting? You are exactly guilty of what you accuse the right of being. So this is not about going through scientific consensus. This is about going through the most publicized claims that have existed from 1970 all the way up to today in every reputable journal or news outlet that has existed, all the news that's fit to print, the claims that you believed for a very, very long time to point out the claims that are being made now. So we will have predictions that were made, mm. whether uh, those predictions came true or not, and uh, the updated prediction, because there's always been an updated prediction. Well, you, you have to pivot every once in a while. Pivot! <laughs> so... Uh, also, let me let you know that uh, this is a live show Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Right. Eastern. That's right. If you miss it here on YouTube, you say, where is this show? Uh, or if we get removed for uh, accurate information, yeah. uh, just go over to Rumble or Mug Club. Yeah. $10 off right now. Before I move on here, uh, it's time for me to introduce... Gerald A., how are you? I am well, sir. How are you? It, it's nice and cool in here. It feels it's like pretty, climate yeah. change is not happening in this room. Yeah. Well, Very you chill. know what? That's what we call anecdotal. Listen, I know it's a real thing, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, 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 Black Garrett, I What's hear that on? climate change affects disenfranchised, disenchanted minorities very, the most. Uh, very affected. Yeah, I can tell by the Hawaiian shirt. Mm. It's like a yeah, biracial Dickie Greenleaf. Sure. And, uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, Dave is not here today oh, no. because yeah. he came down with the uh, the Big Bird flu. Um, in his place, however, and keep in mind, he's going to be at the uh, Cotillion in Wichita, Kansas. Yeah. Oh, he must have left early, I guess. Thursday. Um, so he left early to make that date. You guys want to see it if you're in Wichita, Kansas. Yes. Or anywhere else to. close to he's Wichita, Kansas. Um, so we actually have uh, in his place Greta Thunberg's uh, older sister brother. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Ahoy. And what are you, are you Greta's older brother, older sister? Yes. Okay. Hmm. I, I, I was supposed to be the first anti-climate change right. Thunberg, but then Greta came along. She began to develop early and caught everyone's attention, and I was hmm. left to be nothing. Oh, no. And you were in the attic, and mother never came for you? Uh, mother never comes for me. No. She never calls. Oh, those Thunbergs in the attic. All my family members are very attractive, except for me. Yeah, wow. Are. Well, yeah. I guess it's a relative Shh. term. I've seen your parents. Yeah. I, what, what, yes, they're very doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. Oh, boy. I, ahoy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, How double dare you? Okay. <laughs> that was my catchphrase. Yes, I get it. I understand. Uh, the uh, double dare. You added. She added a little. Oh. I added a double. Added a little bit of zest. Yeah, to dare. It. Oh, she boy. trimmed it. Up I dare little. you to stop ruining the planet, Stephen Crowley. In another brave. Well, you know what? Challenge not accepted. In another brave display of activism, by the way, your little uh, sister, yeah. uh, Greta Thunberg, protested. Uh, I haven't seen this clip, so I guess this is a watch and react. Yeah, this, yeah. The COP26 summit. Here we go. This COP26 is so far just like the previous cops and that has led us nowhere they have led us nowhere exploitation no more blah 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 no more whatever the fuck they're doing inside there whoa oh. Oh. whoa language wow Watch that How mouth sister you? oh man i hate her yeah well listen it's yeah, a you sibling would. you're gonna learn to love her she has undeniable sex appeal yeah well like <laughs> she's it's okay because she's 18 now. Why do people cheer when a child cusses? Uh, I, it's a weird thing. Not it a is. child anymore. No, no, yeah. I know an 18 year old. Fine. Yeah. I think he's a grown close to 19 year old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, whatever. Why I mean, or as Muhammad cheer? would refer to her, Pastor Prime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like by a long shot. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's my husband? Like, oh, come on, you old maid. Yuck, 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 yuck. Blah, blah, you blah. blah, blah, blah. It's not my fault your ovaries are dust bunnies. Ah! So, <laughs> um, by the way, let me ask you this. Uh, what's the Before we move on here, because we have like, all references are available at LadwithClare.com. So much. Mm -hmm. We have like 150 or something like that today. Absurd. What's the most ridiculous climate prediction that you have heard? What were you taught in school? Uh, I remember one, obviously, I was taught that the polar bears were going to be extinct. Thank God. Yeah. yeah I don't really care. Yeah. You mean the killing machines? Yeah, the ones who kill baby yeah. seals and hunt humans yeah. just I've for never fun. One. Yeah. Hmm. So. Oh, no. Haven't seen Yukon <laughs> Cornelius lately, have you? No. His, well, you will find his lower intestines soon upon, uh, uh, about the Alaskan oh. tundra. Gonna... I believe there's more polar bears. Yes, I do. I, well, hey, Dave. Oh, oh you got hey. real deep there. Well, so, he, told, he told me I couldn't do the character the whole time. I couldn't, yeah. <laughs> we God. needed to have him for a little bit. <laughs> It'd be too annoying. It's going to come in and out. All right. <laughs> oh. Crattershop.com, too, if you want to support the show. Before I move on here, everything is climate change this week. Climate claims is the hashtag. Yesterday, Pete uh, uh, Buttgig's... Um, Husband? 
I guess. Yes. Yes. Chaston. That's how you so say it. Pete, uh, is it Chaston? Chasen? Something. I don't know. Sure. No, I don't know. Stupid. So no one's wearing a Chaston belt anytime soon. Mr. Mm-hmm. It's defect. It's defective. So tweeted this at Dennis Prager, who was trending because of comments about AIDS. He tweeted, uh, AIDS patients died because people feared simply touching them would lead to infection. Hmm. Families abandoned their own children to be buried in unmarked graves. Let us know where we can send the books, Dennis. God forbid you read one. Uh, and I was, uh, I want to be clear, I was happy to correct uh, his understanding. Uh, no, AIDS patients died from having uh, unprotected anal sex with strangers and intravenous drug use. Mm, Just yeah. to be clear, I know that. By the way, this is this from the left. It doesn't. You can't have this both ways. What AIDS AIDS patients died because people didn't want to touch them. That just means they die and have less friends. Are you trying to tell me that doctors went, eh, get it off me, get it off me, for crying out loud, they were treating Death. people with Ebola. Yeah. And even if they were buried in unmarked graves, which, by the way, I don't know if you can substantiate that. That just seems, it's, that seems well, vindictive yeah. for no reason at that point. It doesn't, they're already dead. Do you know why so many died? Because of Anthony Fauci's policies. For example, oh. the same kind of myths that you were perpetuating mm-hmm. that people with AIDS could transmit it to people uh, through airborne uh, mechanisms. He did say that. He did my, say that. Yeah, my house is haunted, though, by AIDS ghosts. It yeah. was, it was wow. built on an unmarked cemetery of AIDS bodies. Really? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah so all uh, just, it's, it's just coughing instead of booze. Well, and also uh. just at repulsion. They just go, boobs. Yep. Bo- and the wa- catch. AIDS? Come on! The walls bleed. That's the scariest part. Yeah, oh, wow. I know. Well, you know yeah. what? Red rum. So, look, let's move on. I want to use <laughs> as yeah. a jumping off point here. Uh, former uh, President Barack Obama. Mm-hmm. Did I say former President? President Barack Obama. Yeah, <laughs> he was in Glasgow, um, and he showed up to lecture all of the, uh, all of the, uh, uh, all of the, the riffraff. Mm. Riffraff. You and me. On uh, That's time up. is fleeting. He uh, wanted to lecture all of us on climate change. So I'm guessing he flew southwest, Dave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, well, right, presumably directly from his $12 million Martha Vineyard's waterfront mansion. Yes, yes, which was, ah. which was built by solar panels and sunshine farts. You say That's on correct. the water, huh? On the waterfront. Mm. Mm. It's so, weird you would put a house there if you thought the rising levels were yeah, destroyed. Yeah, it is a little That's bizarre. Interesting. It's an interesting investment. Well, you don't. you can't read his mind. Mm. So he spent a large portion of his speech I can. crapping on Donald Trump, Republicans taking no responsibility, yeah. and of course tooting his own horn. This happened yesterday. Here is former, I mean, President Barack Obama. Back in the United States, of course, some of our progress stalled when my successor decided to unilaterally pull out of the Paris Agreement. So in your his first dad should have. <laughs> I wasn't real happy about that. The determination of our state and local governments, along with the regulations and investment that my administration had already put in place, allowed our country to keep moving forward, despite hostility from the White House. The power to do even more to fight climate change during my time in office if I'd had a stable congressional majority that was willing and eager to take it. Damn Republicans! (laughs) It's not my fault, it's yours! And for the bulk of my presidency, I didn't have that majority. Both of us have been Added constrained in large part by the fact that one of our two major parties has decided not only to sit on the sidelines, but express active hostility toward Good. climate science and make climate change a partisan issue. Sit on the sidelines like you should at pickup games of basketball. How does it feel to know that you're the first black president who would get dusted by Sarah Palin on the courts? Wow. I'd, I'd watch that. That's a We're playing line. street rules. This is just, yeah. uh, now, 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 none of it is my fault. Skin. It's all uh, Republicans right. and Donald Trump who came in and was hostile. Maybe it's because you removed all the T's from the keyboard, you prick. Like, let's just be clear about how petty Barack Obama was. He blamed Bush when he came in, and now he's blaming Donald Trump on the way out. Let's be really yeah. clear about something. The biggest reason that greenhouse emissions, okay, uh, have steadily decreased is because of natural gas. And I know what you're saying. Mm. I heard fracking is bad for the environment. I'm not saying that fracking is carbon neutral. However, fracking and using our own natural gas is significantly better for the environment than purchasing oil from countries overseas who don't have EPA standards and shipping them uh, across the ocean on tankers where, by the way, spills happen every single year that make the BP oil spill look like child's play or Jen Psaki, however you prefer to refer to it. <laughs> by the way, if I remember correctly, Barack Obama had a majority in both houses and his first 100 days he chose, instead of saving the planet, to push Obama. No, 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 you're confused. Uh, I don't think I am. Sorry. And uh, uh, racist. But... but 
I just, you know, I know a lot of people don't like him, but it is interesting to see a president that can talk yeah. as opposed to one that has a closed head injury <laughs> yes. and underwear filled with applesauce. It now, is an interesting now, the, now, the problem, the, the primary problem with Joe Biden, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I've told him this, I'm not talking out of turn, is he poops. Hmm. Constantly. Mm-mm. Just nonstop, nonstop, the old man poops. Come so, on, man. The pair smells of cords, kids, too. <laughs> smells my kids. Smells kids, smells my kids, and they, they think it's weird and gross. And then, and then he poops. So <laughs> the Paris Accords don't do anything, okay? China, the world's greatest polluter, yeah. right? Make pollution great again. Make pollution great again. <laughs> They've increased carbon output even though they sign on to the Paris Agreement. Oh, oh yeah. We'll, get, we'll get right on that Paris Agreement, but you have our word. <laughs> they bought it. <laughs> no, trust me. 2019, after leaving the Paris Agreement for contrast, the United States reduced emissions by nearly... Three percent, the most of any uh, major country. And I want to be clear about something here. This is you're referred to as a climate denier. If let's say you acknowledge climate change, Mm -hmm. let's say you acknowledge that maybe humans are contributing to climate change, let's say you acknowledge that that could have some negative results. Let's assume you've gone along the trail. If you just don't believe that the Paris Accord will do anything, you're a denier. Look, look, China signed on and got worse. America pulled out and got better than any other country. Come on, guys. This is about, don't be led by the nose. And that's why we want to go through all of these predictions. This is going to be yeah. a longer show. 19, I think, starts at 70 through today. All references are available. But first, before we move on to that, uh, Obama, uh, former uh, well, President Obama, uh, did quite a bit of fear-mongering among uh. I just said a mongering. A, mong- a mongering. mongering. It's mongering. Right. Yeah. He's a fishmonger uh, among what there's not left. There's, there's no more in Bro, the ocean. Yes. All the starfish are dead because Pete Putka keeps trying to screw them. <laughs> oh. Ew. Don't even, don't even <laughs> try nasty. and don't even try and go to a ch- child's party with all the balloon nuts. <laughs> it's a smorgasbord for Pete Putka. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Uh, <laughs> Barack Obama did his share of fear mongering uh, with the crowd. Here you go. And the consequences of not moving fast enough are becoming more apparent all the time. Last month, a study found that 85% of the global population has experienced weather events that were more severe because of climate change. Stronger storms, longer heat waves, more intense flooding, crippling droughts. Parts of the world are becoming more dangerous to live in. Like Kenya. Triggering new migration patterns and worsening (laughs) conflict around the globe. It's one of the reasons why... Uh, the U.S. Pentagon and other U.S. agencies have said that climate change poses a national security threat for the U.S. and for everyone else. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so okay. let me be really clear here. Uh, weather-related deaths have decreased drastically over time. Now, I know oh. people will say that's a gross simplification because we've gotten more effective methods, blah, 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 blah. Sure, but the fact remains he wants to scare you and he wants you to think that everybody's yeah. going to die while he lives on oceanfront property, uh, $12 yeah. million dollars in Martha's Vineyard. Just to be clear, he's not living in Tucson, Michael! Right. He also said that these are caused by climate change while presenting zero evidence that weather is caused by climate change becoming more severe. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Now, now, the problem with, with, but, with you, mm. the problem with you, Gerald A., is you're not a scientist. Mm. Oh, are you scientists, Obama? But I can read. Did you just hear the predictions that he made? You just heard them, right? Yeah, Everybody no, here yes. heard them. I just yeah, want yeah. to be clear. Uh, let's. Will anyone ever call him on it? This is the issue. Yeah. People had no problem. They've had it on a morphe as a morphine drip on CNN, yeah. on MSNBC. When they say, "Hey, you're not a scientist," it means you shut up. Neither is Barack Obama. Neither is Joe Biden, and certainly not Greta Thunberg. So oh, dare you? Let's blah, go blah, into blah. Oh, this sick. week's mega theme show today: climate claims. Use the hashtag climate claims and it gives you ten dollars off. What are you so concerned I'm, about? No, I'm I'm happy those bears look like they're gonna be a little warmer. Yeah. I and mean, it's freaking cold there. Yeah, they sweep some chimneys. I mean, come on. Make yeah, a little extra a hollow make a little bears. extra fur pocket it, change. It's nice to warm things up a little bit. You know. We want, I want them around. I like Uggs. Yeah. You ever see a polar bear floating off on an ice cap? Like a piece of ice? It's Super the saddest cute. thing I ever saw. Oh, oh my gosh. You know what oh, happens cute. to polar bears if uh, they have to swim further? They turn over and they float because they have hollow hair follicles. Yeah, and they about. sip on the true. Yeah, they couldn't drown if they wanted to. <laughs> well, I think you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I think they're deli- they're not delicious. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. Oh, I see what he said there. there. I yeah. ate a yeah, polar bear once. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I had to respect the Native American, the Inuits' uh, culture. We use them to light lamps. Yes, <laughs> they were the lamps <laughs> that burned well into the night. <laughs> All right. So, look, it's not any secret that the only way you are controlled with climate predictions, the only way that you get to the Green New Deal or the COP26 or where I went to the Cancun Climate Summit and they supported one child policy, Ted Turner, to thunderous yeah. applause, Ooh. the only way you get this far down the trail, of course, is through fear mongering. But you don't have to take our word for it. Droughts are intensifying. Our oceans are acidifying with methane plumes rising up from the ocean it's a man floor. Bun? Yeah. We are seeing extreme weather events and the West Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets melting at unprecedented rates How about decades ahead of scientific projections. None of this is rhetoric, and none of it is hysteria. It is all rhetoric and it hysteria. It is fact. Yes. By the end of this century, it's nice the you could take a break from rising. having the sex with anything you want. Could go up another four to eight degrees. What I'm saying is the planet's on fire. There are a lot of things we could do to put it out. Are any of them free? No, of course not. Nothing's free, you idiots. Grow the Huh. Aren't you You're a socialist anymore? I didn't mind explaining photosynthesis to you when you were 12, but you're adults now, and this is an actual crisis. Got it? This is about our constituents and all of our lives. Iowa, Nebraska, broad swaths, swaths of the Midwest are drowning right now <clears throat> underwater. Huh? Farms, what? towns that will never be recovered and never come back. And we're here, and, and people are more concerned about helping oil companies than helping their own families? I don't think so. I don't think so. And for more, most of so. your lives, if you're in that generation, you've been bombarded with warnings about what the future will look like if you don't address climate change. Oh. <laughs> no farms in Iowa. Ah. You silly bitch. Okay. <laughs> Let me go through. You mean flooding that seasonally happens and has forever? Yeah, 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 yeah. And Iowa crying out loud. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, let's, I guess we're going to have to find another place to do the straw ah. poll. Oh, man. Where is that happening? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've been all over the country. I've never. I've it's seen some flooding everywhere. Dry well, there's one place. It's called New Orleans because building that far below sea level is stupid. Yeah, well, how I, many times are you going to keep rebuilding it? I know. Yeah. It's like, like, ah, habitat for humanity. Well, you just want. You just want to just have them on retainer. Why don't you just move north a little bit? Yeah. yeah I got a pamphlet a for you. Move. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there it's you a, go. It's a Problem swamp. Solved. It's Done. PSA. Leave. What's yeah. gonna? What are you gonna wash away in New Orleans that anybody needs? I don't know. Do you think someday, like after climate change, there's gonna be some post-apocalyptic world where somebody finds a missing city of Atlantis and it's just someone's titty beads? You're like, oh, 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 <laughs> what are these? What are they, what are they used for? This wonderful cultural. And center. this was used in ritual sacrifice. Hold up a red solo cup. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> these beads sent the Girls Gone Wild guy to jail. Yes. Oh wow. And we believe they used to worship the god of Street Bourbon. So. <laughs> Let's go through some predictions here, <laughs> and you guys can jump in whenever. Uh, we're going to start at 1943. Wow. It's wow. Prediction. Uh, 1943, huh? Yep. The U.S. was going to reach peak oil. Remember that term? For I know yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the Zoomers out there, you may not know this because they've kind of shied away from it now because yeah. they just don't really want to talk about it. Yeah, but uh, let me just give you just some sources, references, and okay. we'll have all the references at ladderwithcrowder.com. They warned about peak oil. In 1943, Bradford Evening Star. Mm-hmm. 1956, Corpus Christi Times. 1977, U.S. Department of Energy Organization Act. 1980, the Syracuse Post Standard. 1996, Noble Lord Richard Smalley. 2007, Government Accountability Office. 2021, the International Enter- uh, Energy Agency. Let's be. Let's also be clear about this when they talk about peak oil. In 2018, it was either 18 or 19, the United States was a net exporter of oil. <laughs> For the first time in God knows how long. It might have been the first time ever. I know it's the first time on modern record. But we went back. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. No, because the environment's better off when we're begging a Saudi prince to to, to light our homes. And lugging it across the the Pacific and the Atlantic. But let me give you this. An an updated prediction. Uh We're going to reach peak oil in 2040. Oh, this, yeah. Ah, this one's for yes. real. Kicking that tin can on down well, the road. I mean, if, it, if you just keep changing it, eventually you're right. I mean, yeah, they were wrong the other right. times, but this That's time... That's only probably. eight more years if my math is correct. Yeah. Ah, yes. yes. That's absolutely correct. Mm. What you remember learning about peak oil in high school? I, I've I'd heard the term, no. so I just want to go clarify. You don't remember? Well, you were on drugs. Did you, were you saying that each <laughs> one of those was a new set date for peak oil? No, no, that was when the predictions were made in official... I mean, publications. So 
So I'm just saying it's it's a prediction they've constantly been making, and then sometimes right. they'll say, "Oh, it's going to be five years from now. Oh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be three years from now." Like Al Gore made his prediction. I think that the uh, we'll get to it later. I think yeah. there was like the Antarctic ice sheet was going to be gone by 2013, and then he sort of softly was like, "Ah, or I meant, or you know, a general timeline." You know what? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Prophets who uh, predicted stuff that didn't come true in the name of God in the Old Testament had to deal with. They stuck a glass rod up their pee hole and smashed it with a ah, hammer. A little bit worse. No, wait, that's the Chinese. A little bit worse. Oh, lordy, dude. Look it up. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worse keep, than that? If you just keep predicting it for 50 years, yeah, just keep running that thing All right, let me go time. to the next one since uh, Dave sorry. doesn't remember peak oil. No, you don't need to be sorry. No, I remember hearing that. Yeah, it's peak yeah. oil. It means we're going to basically we're gonna run out of oil. I also remember use, reduce, recycle, yet you just watch it get thrown into the dump with everything else. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Around, Around the corner, they just put that. it all together. Hey, yeah. what about George Clooney advertising for Nespresso? Well, they have a recycling campaign. Really? How many people do you think put it in that little burlap sack and carry it back to the shitty mall where they purchased it? Oh, this is a <laughs> this is alleged, but I know somebody who used to be his limo driver and said he's the biggest piece of crap ever. I, oh yeah, he's just a horrible human being. Well, uh, you know that's that's what happened. That's why he does the head thing. It's his inner asshole trying to get out. He's like, yeah. contain it. So, 1967. <laughs> here's another prediction. Prediction number two, I guess we'll go through these in, yeah, uh, yeah. in a list. And you guys can comment uh, as you're watching live, uh, or sorry, as you're watching after it's live, uh, which of these most stands out to you. Uh, a dire famine was forecasted to be the worst and most disastrous ever by 1975. So keep in mind this was oh. made in 1967. They were saying by 1975. Did that this is from the UN, Washington Post, The Atlantic, The Evening Standard. Uh, no. Oh. oh, well, that's good, I guess, that it didn't happen, or, or were they yeah, yeah. lamenting it? Oh, John Kerry made it in 2015. WAPO did it again in 2017, and the UN did it again in 2020. Um, I don't remember those. The deadliest famine in history, by the way, the truth, it was in China from 59 to 61, had nothing to do with climate change, <laughs> mm. um, had more to do with, uh, you know, commie pricks. Do you realize uh, uh, warming the temperatures up just a little bit actually produces more food and makes people less likely to starve? Reduces food costs around the now, world. Now, 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 if you're going to bring your, 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 your non-scientific bullshit in here, I, we don't want to hear it. Uh, it's, it's actually fact. <laughs> you can walk your sorry ass on, on back to Kenya where I've never been. But there's study after the study after study. The fact is you should that, shut it. Yeah, but no, seriously, studies show this. Y'all yeah. should really look yeah, into it. Yeah, warming one degree or two is uh, actually good for crops. You know, we'll get to that in a little bit. There's yeah. so many predictions today. <laughs> it's a theme. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> by the way, updated prediction. Now they predicted it, it. They predicted it again in 2021. The UN. That's what I was just really. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have that overlay eye. I think you. Uh, Won't all the vitamin D kill COVID? I have no idea. But yeah. wait, in 2021, that's only got like a month and a half or so left. Yeah, it'll happen. I mean, no, no. They predicted okay. it again in 2021. Oh, for they're learning to be a date. little bit more uh, abstract with their numbers. They got to get a little more Nostradamusy. Yeah, in yeah, there. yeah. Like yeah, let yeah. these things. Maybe happen. I see an unattended crutch by a fire. What? <laughs> All right. What does that mean? Thanks, Ted Turner. <laughs> so here's uh, another prediction uh, in 1969. And again, the point here is not, oh, what about, what about uh, are you a scientist? No, no. These were predictions that everybody believed. You yeah. just saw. No one has a problem with the fact that Leonardo DiCaprio is not only not a scientist, but incapable of developing a romantic relationship with anyone who looks like they're older than 15. It's <laughs> <laughs> a preference, I guess. <laughs> if you had a man bun like that, would you? Uh, you know, look, I don't blame him. I mean, <laughs> I don't blame Leo DiCaprio. He's but. saving the environment by buying 35 Priuses. Yes, yes. <laughs> For his 19 homes. Yeah. Using what a, all the rare earth two elements jets. that he can I mean, find. And he gives every nine-year-old he dates a blood diamond. So my point oh, wow. is... Yeah. He ate a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how, but you know, he carries it well. As long so as this it's not is a prediction number bear. three. In 1969, population biologist Dr. Elric said in 20 years, everyone would disappear... This is not a joke. Disappear. In a cloud of blue steam. This was huh? a biologist. This is what he wrote. We must realize that unless we are extremely lucky... Unless we are extremely lucky, everybody will disappear in a cloud of blue steam in 20 years. Now, what? Blue I know steam. I'm doing the theme here of you know their claim, prediction, and the truth. This is one of those. It's so uh, it's so out there. It's like when a guy just starts windmill punching yeah, in a boxing yeah, match. Yeah. I don't even know how to handle that. It's so dumb. As far as I know, this hasn't happened. No but I guess uh, well, let's check in with the yeah. office. See how they're doing. I 
I spoke too soon. That's sad. I love yep. Brendan. Really he was a sad. good guy. Where'd he go? Yeah. Where'd he go? He's in the air. Should have should have been drinking his milk. I, That's I don't what think mother that. says. All right. Let's. Uh, pretty soon we're gonna ditch the wig and the glasses <laughs> because at some point. <laughs> I cannot. So Who are you speaking of? This one's uh, pretty tough to find a comparable prediction, like an updated version. Okay. I think they sort of decided to, to <laughs> just leave lean, this one in lean the away from the, the blue smoke. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Thanos snap. <laughs> what is it, green smoke now or something? Uh, well, really, the closest thing I could find is a report uh, ahead of the Glasgow summit claims that 10, min 10 million people will die by 2030. Ah. Uh, okay. Why? How, how will they? I don't know. Blue Maybe smoke, there'll be some new how. kind of super AIDS. I have oh. no idea. Maybe there's like a giant Travis Scott concert. Wh whatever. Uh, there's going to be violence on oh, the African content, uh, continent? Like like Could Barack be. Obama said, what a there's, there's violence there. I'm like, yeah, oh, geez, that's never happened I'm before. Maybe stabbing people with a fentanyl. Yeah, with a super fentanyl. Is that what happened to Travis fentanyl. Scott? The, it, uh, who knows? But they're saying it's like a super, it's possibly like a super, guys, a super no. fentanyl. No, no, super no, no, fentanyl no. Because fentanyl wasn't strong enough. What if people are like, I just no, I can't be super. carrying these rice grain sized amounts of fentanyl. What am I, a pack mule? Yeah, it's like, an old, it's like a cereal commercial for kids where it's like, there was a problem at the fentanyl factory. <laughs> what? Now it's, whoops, all fentanyl. Now it's <laughs> mini <laughs> fentanyl. Oh, no. Yeah. There's so much fentanyl. You won't. You'll die before you finish chewing it. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is a climate change. This is the first time we've seen the effects of climate change directly impact yeah. concerts. And uh, I have plenty of evidence. If you just read a book, okay? Yeah. yeah. I don't know read how it. to read. Yeah. Well, That's you know apparent. what? We all have I a read, cross to bear. I read I Braille because I prefer to touch my words. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, your words touch me, so I guess it comes full circle there. Do you Mr. have a Braille book? <laughs> Thunberg. I don't know uh, who I am anymore. Here's an <laughs> I can't hear the clap. <laughs> I don't oh hear God. the sounds. Here's a prediction. Uh, prediction number four, 1970. Again, the hashtag is climate claims. Hey, look, 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 look. I'm not going to continue this show until we see climate claims trending somewhere. Let's go. I don't care where, anywhere. Do you it. Got, we, like 20,000 of you hit like on YouTube last yeah. week. Just share this right now out there. It's in How the many title likes do we have? with the hashtag climate check. claims. I don't care about the likes. I want people to get this out there because uh, everyone out there you. is going to say, well, this isn't, look, this is the most referenced uh, episodic that I can think of on this topic. Yeah. None of these are coming from, you know, uh, QAnon.net.tv. These are coming from New York <laughs> Times, Washington Post, Time Leonardo Magazine. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, the UN. Yeah. I mean, come on. Match. So try to try to tweet it out as serious as possible, but yes. also make it insulting. Yeah. Without just try to go a little under the radar. If you happen to include a, a, a picture of your genitals, well, look, that's no, a no, long way. No, no, yeah. no. Hey, hey, this no. isn't Australia that's, doing no. the "I'm at home" shot for the COVID stuff. What? You could go. This is a swampy that? mess thanks yeah. to global warming. <laughs> that's funny. That was Jeffrey <laughs> Tubin's nickname. Name in college, really? Oh, yeah, okay. swampy yeah. mess. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it was old faithful. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, 1970. Here's prediction Man's number four. They made the prediction that a, this is a California newspaper, Redlands Daily, predicted there would be a food rationing in '64 and water rationing by 1980, and this was echoed across the country. Mm. Uh, the truth is, in 1980, there was actually not only a enough food for the modern diet system to be put in place, <laughs> the first national nutritional guidelines were actually ah. issued. But here's the thing. We do have an updated prediction okay. now. That was 1970. Was it 1970? I, I, have to, I have to be using these notes here today I think I want to make sure that you guys don't crucify me if I'm off by a year or a month right. because I know that that invalidates everything. Don't kid yourself. It's going to happen anyways. <laughs> yes. <laughs> by, now the new prediction is by 2035, 60% of our meat will have to be lab-grown. Why? Oh, I don't look, give a shit. I don't care if cows fart. I watched Selma Hayek eat grasshoppers once. That was fun. <laughs> Hasn't the colonel been doing she that for years? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> you are my eyeless babies. <laughs> You're born without feathers. What are the secret herbs and spices? <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> what I do to them is the spice. <laughs> oh, what? Their pain. They can speak. Their pain. <laughs> Their screams are the extra spice. <laughs> so here is something, a prediction in 1970, another one. Now, I want to be really clear because you're going to say, well, why are you showing this documentary? Well, this documentary was released. It was very popular. However, this is a sentiment that was echoed for many, many years throughout the 70s. And there was scientific consensus in the 70s. But I wanted to provide uh, visual aids. Sorry, we're not. Well, we're done with well, the yeah, uh, chasing yeah. butt gig thing. Visual uh, assistance. There you go. Uh, Leonard Nimoy. Here he is <laughs> talking about how there was going to be a new ice age by the year 2000. Here. What scientists are telling us now 
is that the threat of an ice age is not as remote as they once thought. During the lifetime of our grandchildren, Arctic cold and perpetual snow could turn most of the inhabitable portions of our planet into a polar desert. The brutal buffalo winter might become common all over the United States. Climate experts believe the next ice age Soft is on dump its way. On buffalo. <laughs> yeah. According to recent <laughs> yeah. evidence, it could come sooner than anyone had expected. <laughs> At weather stations in the far north, temperatures have been dropping for 30 years. You know, frozen hell, buffalo. Yeah. Long free of summer ice are now blocked year round. According to some climatologists, within a lifetime, we might be living in the next ice age. <laughs> what you couldn't you couldn't hire Kirk? <laughs> Too busy preparing his space launch? Listen, second string needs some help. Yeah, well, you know what? Hopefully it dry freezes those ears. <laughs> Ah, oh, fixed. Crack right off. <laughs> well, we're food rationing. So. Stick to saying nanu nanu, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> Stupid Spock. <laughs> so, just to be clear, I wanted to show you that because that was released and it was a fear mong- uh, you know, fear mongering, of course. But yeah. well, but it's bad. Uh, ice is bad in that one. Yeah, well, ice is Th- bad that in that one. Yeah, Too because they, it's almost like they understood that uh, frozen tundra is worse for crops. But let me really quickly hit this. This was widely accepted science. This was Washington Post, 1971. The White House, 1974. Guardian in 1974, Time Magazine 1974. The world could be as little as 50 or 60 years away from a disastrous new ice age, is what the Washington Post said. Time said telltale <laughs> signs are everywhere when climatologist George J. Kukla of Columbia University, blah, blah, blah. I mean, these are everywhere. And here's something else, too. This is something that you're told today. Now, I'm not saying that because they were wrong about all of it before, <laughs> that that means they can't be right about anything today. Right. But the argument that they throw out 97% consensus immediately dismiss it it's a bullshit argument okay i've told you about this before you can go back and watch that segment however this is not the first time that they've made this argument this is important because now people say well there might have been one or two i just gave you every major publication throughout the 1970s and not only that but these major publications were saying that anyone who denied the idea of a coming ice age were denying what what Scientific consensus. This is from New York Times, all the bullshit that's fit to smear, (laughs) saying climatologists can predict what temperature averages and extremes to expect over the next 10, 20, 30 years. They are predicting greater fluctuations and a cooling trend for the northern hemisphere, and they uh, they invoked the, uh, the rhetoric of scientific consensus. This was in 1976. Seems like the same arguments they're using today. By the way, tell me one of the the warmest uh, years on record. 2000. Mm, no. 1930s. 30. You'd have to go back to the Yeah, 1930s. I know, but it was uh, the, the 14th warmest year oh. record was 2000 is what I have right here. That's what and I just find, I like just find that suits. funny because it was warmer before an inconvenient truth and then yeah. moderately cooler after. <laughs> exactly. Well, no, no, no. That was the pause, the great pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. He was like the guy who timed all of his stock betting on, on Ask Jeeves. <laughs> He couldn't have picked a worse time, Al Gore. Bought Boy, American yeah. Airlines on September 10th, did you? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> really bad idea. Well, really, it was actually spirit. Oh. I thought that, uh, that uh, you know, paying for your carry-on luggage was innovative. <laughs> I innovative? United 93. <laughs> I sit on the board at Apple. <laughs> I don't even know how to work the thing, but <laughs> either way, one time I got my wiener caught in it because I thought it was a Swedish masseuse. <laughs> I don't know what happened. They oh said you gosh. could do that on the internet. I didn't know it wasn't directly oh. into the floppy drive. Anyway, that's not important. More I'm money, floppy. please. More money, please. <laughs> so, man, bear pig. There was no ice age in 2000. It was the 14th warmest year on record. Uh, oh, there wasn't? No, there wasn't. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. Nimoy, oh. you have failed me. <sighs> I like how in the 70s, you're like, who can we get that's a real scientist? Spock. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He plays one on that's TV. Yeah. Like, did you graduate believe. high school? Yeah, no, no, no that's that not true. Uh, I don't it's care. trustworthy. We'll put you on the cover of Time. There'll be none the wiser. I've been in space though. Do you have a haircut that's uh, on a statue in a Chinese restaurant? Yes. People will assume that someone who's that weird looking is clearly intelligent. They have to be. <laughs> that's the whole life budget theory. <laughs> yeah. 
So, he does have an intelligence about him. Yeah, but he's he an does. actor, so we know he's not. Right. Yes, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yes. Right. He's a liar for a living. Here's an updated prediction. A mini Ice Age, now you may not know this, could hit the Earth by 2030. Oh. So they haven't totally abandoned the Ice Age argument. Well, they, but they said mini Ice Age. Yeah, I don't know like what that means. Apparently open to interpretation. It's just a little chilly. Buffalo's going to get cold again. <laughs> it's like an Ice yeah. Age with less storage. Well, well, it, it roughly goes from November to February. Right, yeah. It's mini. Oh. It's a mini one. Interesting. Yeah. These are just general guidelines, just so you know. <laughs> I'm not a scientist. It doesn't so, mean anything. Here's, a ni- here's another prediction in 1970. Number six. Life magazine claimed that people would have to wear gas masks for pollution by the year 1985. Oh, well, they were kind of right. It's just not for pollution. Right. Yeah. Well, you know what? Here's what's funny is the updated prediction now. COVID masks will cause record levels of waste in the ocean. Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. no. A hermit crab is going to be wearing someone's face diaper as a shell. But they won't get COVID. They won't. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's silver lining. Like, We've noticed there's a natural immunity to COVID from hermit crabs. What? So mm. they must They're all that. wearing masks. Very Press, compliant. Press Stations, some mollusks. works underwater. I don't know what a mollusk is. All these sea cows are very well protected from COVID. Yeah. <laughs> they just wear Amy Schumer's mask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Just a manatee and a mask says Black Lives Matter. I need the Lizzo version, please. It's trying to light everything on fire, but it can. It's water. Think about this for a second. All the disposable, because the disposable masks, those are the only ones that work. Yeah. Right? Your, your reusable cotton masks, your reusable poly blend masks. Disgusting. Right? They don't work at all. But let's, let's think about this for a second. Every time I go to a restaurant now, I have to drink from a wooden straw so that everything tastes like a number two pencil <laughs> because, the, God forbid, there was some sea tortoise that might be chewing on my bubble tea straw. But now you're just like, by the way, uh, let's just everyone disposable masks. And uh, if you want it to work, you have to wear a new mask every single time you touch a mask. Well, this is according to Dr. Anthony Fauci, by the way, lest anybody get mad at us. I don't know what happened. To, don't touch your face. No, no. Let's Don't touch your face. Yeah. Paper straws are awful. They're the worst. Seriously, you get you get the paper lips. in your mouth. Yeah. Yep. Part way, you would say, "What am I supposed to do with this?" Well, and they it's fall like, apart. Oh, that's Two cool. sips in, it's gone. I'm going to a cocktail bar with my wife and her friends, so it's eighteen dollars a drink. And you say, "Oh, I guess give me your twist on a gimlet with a little bit of a habanero, and it tastes like kindling." Wow. Wow. Good. Do you have anything in the Dura Flame flavor? <laughs> you drink a uh, well, yes. You drink liquor through a straw. I don't. Well, they'd give you straws. <laughs> You do if you're an alcoholic and your mouth don't work. Yep. Oh, well. And you got a hole in your neck. I guess you got me. Yeah. Well, you're talking about Al Gore. Okay. Here's another prediction. In 1989, (laughs) rising sea levels would drown countries by the year 2000. Here, I guess I don't even know. It's like, how do you fact check this? Have any have any countries drowned? Is there are there any countries that haven't learned how to swim yet? Do we have any Atlantises out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Uh, are the keys wearing floaties? No. Okay. Mm. I think they're still. Well, they've updated the prediction. Now it's Florida will be drowned by uh, 2060 from the Guardian. Now they oh, just keep. 20, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, just yeah. push the date back a little bit. Right. So by 2060. So they said it would be gone by now. But now by 2060, you can be sure they're they're not going to be able to tape any more bloodlines. I I have a speech prepared for this. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Huh. Well, it's less a speech and more a music video, but it's important. Oh. The world is dying unless I can save it. Thunberg, fear the Thunberg. I was lightning and then Thunberg, 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 fear the Thunberg. Lightning and the Thunberg, Thunberg, Thunberg. Kids were laughing in my classes. While polar bears were dying by the masses Look at you, who do you think you are? Driving that big shiny car Do you want me? Are you thirsty? Do you want to see what's in me? Oh, okay, oh. Why? Why? Okay. 
Why did you stop that before the no. sexy part? Well, you know what? I know you're 18 now, but they're I can't still, see anymore. I'm blind. You still can't put a price on I'm, life experience. I'm no. going to do it here then. No, stop it. No, no. No, no, no. no. Hear the thunder, mm. thunder mm. lightning, mm. and the thunder. Ooh. Why am I cutting back to it? I can't. Daddy. What does it say? Daddy's been dirty. It says back off, man. I'm a scientist. Oh, okay. Ah. It's from a movie because I'm going to turn back into Dave now. Oh, okay. Because All this right. wig is itchy. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's cut away from Yeah, please. Itchy. Let him take off the it's wig itchy, itchy. and the damn jacket. Jacket. <laughs> Darn. I didn't know that he was going to be doing this this morning. So I was like, look, you can't do this the whole show. you got to give me a heads up. Like, when we did the show, was, you know, we had Bernie Sanders hosting the show That's and right, Donald yeah. Trump. I said, guys, just so that. you know, there you are only going to talk to Bernie or Donald Trump. Yeah. All right. Look, you said do something for climate change, and we thought a Greta Thunberg <laughs> music video was the only way to go. Most That's the, yeah. There was no <laughs> option sorry, number there. A Dava Thunberg. That way we don't get sued. Right. No way True. was that Greta. It was Dava. simply her no. older brother, sister. Yes. My, this look how rosy I yeah, am. Yeah, so I'm still cool. in girl. You look makeup. jolly. Oh, jolly. Like I love Campbell's soup, or I'm a dangerous binge drinker. I'm not gonna let you come down my chimney, buddy. So, <laughs> oh, forget it, pal. I'm not gonna sit in your lap. Let so, me see your chimney. I, uh, 1988. Here's another prediction. Officials claimed that uh, the Maldives hmm. would be underwater in the next 30 years. So let's see, 98. No, yeah, let's count it. 2018. No. Oh wow. Oh, well, that's a uh, that was uh, well, we're past it. Again. Truth, 30 years later, they hit a record for tourism. 1.48 <laughs> million visitors. Uh, but don't worry. They've uh, revised it now that uh, the Maldives could disappear by the end of the century. <laughs> this could. is at uh, CSNBC. I got, hey, by the way, if you guys are watching right now and you're irritated... Smash that like button. Watching right now on YouTube. Smash the like button and please share it yes. with hashtag climate claims because... Uh, People need to know this stuff because here's what's funny is you will get people who will rebut this and say, you're not, I readily acknowledge I'm not a scientist. This is – the issue here is people buying into bullshit despite them not being a scientist. Look, if you, if you are not a scientist, isn't it better to start from the beginning point of skepticism yeah. than it yeah. is at accepting it wholesale? You still have people – here's what's ironic. You still have some people who believe these predictions now. I guarantee you if I grab 20 people off the street – a certain number of them are going to believe the peak oil myths that have already yeah. been moved. They don't know that their scientists have moved the goalposts. Right. That's the issue. And do you see a pattern here, by the way? You're a, a science denier. We talked about this the other day. You're a science denier. You're an election denier. You're you're back to being a science denier because right. you're not a virologist, right? You're Every a heretic. Every time this happens, yeah. you get browbeaten with facts that appear to be facts. Well, I, I, necessarily I trust the science. Really? Which one? Oh, okay. That's why you're vaccinating five-year-olds? Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. Got That's it. messed up, that one. It really is. It, yes. Yeah. And now there's kids that have like pe- like died. Well, look, like, you know in, that the, anyone... I, are we allowed to say that? Sorry, there's allegedly... There, is alle- have there have allegedly been some people who may have had complications at some point associated with the vaccine, even though it is the safest and most researched safest. with the best long-term yes. studies yes. vaccine ever. Preach. And the most vaccine sort of vaccine you can get. Yes. It just makes common sense. Yes. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's a guy you should trust. Yes. Also, the earth is warming uncontrollably. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, mm-hmm. sand flies eating a beagle's face is not gain of science. It's just oh, the natural no. order of things. It's yeah. just they were function. Hungry. Gain of function. I'm I watch sorry. species. Hungry. Yeah, I watch it every night. <laughs> Before I go to bed, <laughs> sometimes that happens. Sometimes I sometimes uh, I see a really attractive woman, and when she's a uh, you know, I, I go, "Are you species? You're species." So, it's true, prediction though. in 1988. If you don't ask. You don't ask. That's whole thing with species. You don't know. They're like, she doesn't tell you. She's like she plays all coy about it. Like, no, I'm a woman. You're, they're like you're species. Yeah, they're like undercover cops. You yeah, gotta, yeah, yeah, like they have to tell you, right? <laughs> if yes. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Usually when you see her, you know, lift a train car and throw it across a cornfield, you're like, species! (laughs) Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Nothing gets past me, species. Jump in the sack with you and you're a disgusting human being. Yeah, that's enough. It should be. If she doesn't need to throw a train car, she could just say, hey, you're handsome. I'd be like, Uh, species! Do you know by 2050, 33% of all women will be species? Really? What? Yeah, it's true. Well, hold on a second. No, wait. I'm getting word. It's going to be uh, potentially by the end of the century. Oh, really? they moved it again. Wait, hold on a second. I'm getting oh. a word. Yep. Update. Uh, everything that we just said about species was bullshit. Sorry. Oh. Wait, no. I just got word. Oh, it no. was last Thursday. Oh, my God. Ah. What? I knew it. Oh, I Check your it. wives. I knew it when my wife choked me with her forked <laughs> tongue. I was thinking, like, that's weird. I was like, bitch, you species. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this bitch. you got to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a great film to watch in a black movie theater in Detroit? Oh, I would oh, love it. Bitches, species! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
There's no way oh. she likes that guy. There's no way. He is ugly. He is an ugly mother. That bitch is species. Uh, there you go. You're going to die. You're you going to die. die. Oh, oh, shit. Now he's kissing species. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoy that because you ain't going to get none. You ain't going to get none. You just going to die <laughs> from species. So, <laughs> popcorn's burning, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 1988 prediction. <sighs> Uh, Bob Reese predicted, or Rice, I don't care, predicted that Lower Manhattan would be completely underwater by 2018. Woo! Mm. Uh, well, here's the thing, actually. The truth it is... It didn't happen, though. No, no, no. The truth is, it actually has. What? But, yeah, just not for the reasons they thought. Yeah, so, you know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a kind of water. water. I don't know if that's in the archive. Uh, oh. New York City will be a wash in hobo piss. That was the day after tomorrow. Jake Gyllenhaal was like, "We have to get to the library. Why? <laughs> hobo piss. It's Everywhere. a wave. <laughs> in any in any consolation, it's in much worse shape. It's true. It yeah, might be might be being better underwater that. would be a great thing it for helps. Lower Manhattan. Yeah. Kind of clean, the be streets. kind of a cleansing of the yeah. soul. Yes. Uh, yes. So, uh, well, here's a good thing. There's an updated uh, from Travel.com. Uh, New York City will be just it'll be underwater by 2050. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good thing. What the wasn't hell? all of Miami supposed to be underwater already? Too? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff like that. Too I don't much know. cocaine. It floats. Yeah. Well, that's all the buildings were built on cocaine money. That whole city's cocaine. No, no, no. Money. Literally cocaine. They just stuff it under i'm sure a lot of it literally is i <laughs> thought like, what do we do with all this i thought it cement? was underwater because they needed to cool the state down from all the mamacitas Ooh. Ooh. oh boy so basically. i agree yeah i'm me my aunt. look at that good Hi, puppy. so i don't know why they said this oh, oh, oh multilingual species <laughs> gotcha. ah. See. Oh. <laughs> ah. I know it. I know it. Uh, AOC get totally him. species. Yeah, she has. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's species. It's the googly eye. She has to keep bringing it back because it's trying to get out. Yeah. <laughs> species? Yeah, she's a... Sh back inside. <laughs> I'm the species exorcist. <laughs> AOC! Hey, species! Back! Close mouth! Ah, Her people costume is just coming apart. It's just <laughs> coming <seems>. apart. <laughs> I'm going to get into a fight over AOC yeah. with the feds. Oh, I've been tracking species for... I've been tracking species for 20 years. Like, get out. This is my jurisdiction. Like hell! Yeah, we get that you want us to be dismantled, but uh, look, this is a real thing. Yes. Don't give me any of that. I've learned how to think crap. like species. And let me tell you, the species is not exactly what you think. Species is an avowed socialist who drives her Tesla three blocks with eyes googly. I repeat, googly. And she is stunningly stupid. Yes. Uh, it's really not an advanced species just at all. uncharacteristically dumb. Yeah, just really useless. Mm-hmm. But... In Congress. Yes. yes. We're really doing it a favor so it by letting it, they just let it live. Oh, also, by the way, you might not want to let her do jello shots on you because her tongue will exit your spine. So, okay. Oh. Next prediction. 2000. <laughs> <laughs> number 10. Uh, they, this is actually, they said that their children wouldn't know what snow is by 2020. <laughs> well. I live David, in Texas. I don't know what snow is. David Parker, uh, a researcher at the Hadley are Center for... Are all kids mentally <laughs> Yes. I don't know. That, oh, that's what he said. He's like, by 2020, all kids will be retarded. <laughs> ah, <laughs> different prediction. Makes more sense now. <laughs> I mean... And it was just in Arkansas. Why wouldn't you I know have so what <laughs> snow <laughs> was? There's still history. <laughs> and movies. None of this makes sense. <laughs> they won't even know what snow know. is. Well, Everything that's ever captured snow on film will have been burned by the sun. Yes, that's the rhetoric. <laughs> like, I know what a woolly mammoth is. Yeah. yeah. I, I've never met a triceratops. No. But no. I've heard of them. Yeah. <laughs> I've also met a biceratops. Have you? Has sex with anything that moves that I've met oh. a I met a quadceratops, a pelagic. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that, that, that was chair. one. That's not really. A, that's not really a subspecies. It's just a triceratops, who uh, an LSD dove into an empty pool. That's true. Yeah, they do did. move in herd. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a triceratops to speak to the school about why not to take drugs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> here's Jeff Goldblum reaching into its pot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Two thousand children wouldn't know what snow is, but so David Parker, researcher at the Hadley Center for Climate Prediction Research, said mm. British children <laughs> could have only virtual experience of. Wait, is this? Oh, that's virtual. right. He's English. British children could have only virtual experience of the snow via the internet. They might wander at polar scenes or eventually feel virtual cold. Thank Lord, we have this vinyl edition of Josh Groban's Polar Express soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> Children, people. He was very cold, you see. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Mr. Scrooge, can we blow out all of the candles, making the room so yes, hot? Yes, 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 mm. yes. Because the dark was cheap, you see, and Ebenezer liked it. Well, there I go again. I should, I perhaps, uh, assume, return back to my realm of science. But it appears I'm a <laughs> douchebag there, too. <laughs> so Chimney <laughs> sweeps are no longer needed. <laughs> Do your kids know what snow is? I mean, do you uh, need I me to? Mean, yes. So here's a prediction now. In 2040, the UK won't have snow anymore. They didn't say ah. the children won't know what snow is, but they're like, ah, oh, they, they won't have it. My kid knew what snow was when we left the hospital. Because <laughs> it was snowing. <laughs> Just ask they, Linus. I only prefer February snowflakes. Well, you see, the problem with him is he's a, he's a climate denier, you see. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Mm. There are no snowflakes in Peanuts Land, despite what one Mr. Schultz might try and indoctrinate you with. Yes, yes, yes. More money, please. More money, please. So. <laughs> Always money. So stupid. There's so much money. It's the biggest racket ever. It really is. Imagine getting paid for making these predictions. Imagine getting paid for saying that in the year 2020, kids won't know what snow is. Ah, yeah, brilliant. Give him another grand. How much did we pay for that shit? Well, thankfully it was in the UK, so we didn't. Hopefully it was cheaper Won't than the sun. I'm sure we did. The sun's just going to burn out one day. Yeah. It will eventually. Yep, and it's just going to take this pile of waste with In a champagne so. supernova. In a in champagne supernova in the sky. <laughs> 2004, here's another prediction. The Pentagon report warned the UK climate would be like Siberia by 2020. Hold on. This is from a Pentagon report. I'm curious. Yeah. Is Siberia hot? Uh, that was also confusing to me. <laughs> because the previous prediction we had said they won't know, I know. what snow is. Yeah, that's this a... one says they're going to be covered. Well, this, this is stuff. from the Pentagon, so you know it's yeah. good. Ah, it's different. You know it's uh, good. Okay, yes. United 93. It's not just good. Oh. It's Pentagon good. Oh. Pentagon good. Yes. It not puts pentagram its... good. Pentagon no, it good. Its, it, it puts its pentagram on it, though. Yes. It's a yeah. stamp of approval. <laughs> More of a ram's head, really. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> It is five points. Did they <laughs> cite the other report on no snow? Did they be like, yeah, with, uh, building off of this report, you guys are going to be in Well, Siberia. apparently the Pentagon didn't get the memo from the scientists who were being published in the New York Times. Boy, the Pentagon really has a shitty track record, doesn't it? <laughs> There's need to think about it. Yeah, it's it just, does. I, oh, do gosh. This. So do scientists, apparently. Yeah, apparently. I keep hearing the word consensus, but Astrologers? they don't seem to be Maybe It doesn't seem to. At all. So this is uh, from the Pentagon report. It was reported in The Guardian in 2004. They wrote this. Major European, major European cities will be sunk beneath rising seas as Britain is plunged into a Siberian climate by 2020. What? Nuclear conflict, oh. mega droughts, famine, and widespread rioting will erupt across the world and then he said ah, no 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 wait that, that's that, that's my line so <laughs> well that's actually true well they got the it's just not because of weather yeah <laughs> it was it was blm you no know, there were droughts and stuff you see all them dead flamingos in that picture uh, crazy. i hate them super sad hey flamingos can't mm -hmm. they fly you know that I own a flamingo yeah, they ranch. Can fly. All right, if I they can fly. I, don't I meant feel no sorry. offense by it <laughs> it could move you said you liked my flamingos and I let you feed them well I lied I did it out of, I was being polite. It, so in uh, 2020, it hurts. The UK's, cli <laughs> <laughs> the UK's climate included, this is so stupid that I'm having to fact check this, uh, record breaking so rainfall, yes, it is. record dry and sunny periods, and a summer heat wave. But here's the updated prediction. Hey, hey, okay, update, heat update. Wave. I don't we, know. We have an update. What? <laughs> what? No. What? Idea. I don't understand what's happening. Uh, me neither. Did you have a stroke? Update. What's what the update? What are you talking about? I did. I said I had a summer heat wave. What? What? What's going on? <laughs> what are you talking you about? So there was on? an update. Yeah. Is that that was the update? You guys screw with me? Is there no. something going out to air right now that's like me with a big dick or something? <laughs> no. That's something you guys would do. That's you guys all form against me. <laughs> You're all out here to get me. Did you guys want to convince everybody I have a giant penis again? <laughs> That old. I didn't old say attached to me. <laughs> Stop it. Don't tell people I have a giant penis again. Uh, it's just, it's one I collect. Come on. Come up with something original. <laughs> come on. Jeez, guys. <laughs> so, why don't you make something up for a change? Yeah, why don't you make something up for a Yeah, I pay you to write, <laughs> not just report. <laughs> you are. Uh, no. uh, drink. The updated <laughs> prediction 2021. Ten areas of the UK could be go. underwater by 2050 because of rising sea levels. Well, okay. Well, there you go. Ten areas. Come Ten on. Ten areas. You said the entire place. I don't fully understand. Climate. I'm not a scientist. I'm just reading. 
So <laughs> ten areas sounds like it could be the whole thing. Yeah, it sounds like it could be. I don't understand how they do it, like states versus no, provinces. No, no. Well, like, but either way, someone's missing some molars. Well, now that rock, that's an area. I mean, that rock used to be like that far above the water. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. now it's gone. Yeah. I mean, I moved it under the I water. I threw but... it in the water. <laughs> that's regardless. By the way, whenever people say like, "Well, you're not a scientist," yeah. Also, Al Gore got the. Not only did he get the Academy Award. Yeah, that's right. Which gay lesbian was it? Was it Sinead O'Connor? Was it Melissa Etheridge? Or was it they all Sarah McLaughlin? Was it the wings of an angel? Or was it the come McLaughlin. through my window? No. Which lesbian sang the I don't know. An inconvenient truth. Oh. Oh, for the movie? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Was I, it Melissa Etheridge or was I it? I think uh, it was Etheridge. I think Connor. it was Etheridge. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Point is, Al Gore and two angry lesbians got Academy Awards. <laughs> Melissa Etheridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's Melissa. got some news. <laughs> Step inside. Eyes on my window. <laughs> it's warming soon. Nothing compares to global warming. Some inconvenient boobs. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's 2020. I love stuff. tits. I'm a girl. Yeah, just think about this for a second. You go back to Melissa Etheridge, the Melissa Etheridge who won the yeah. 2009 Academy Award, or I don't know, was nominated. I'm going by rote here. Yeah. If you were to tell Melissa Etheridge back then in 2009, be like, hey, by the way, uh, you know that in, uh, in, in, in only 10 years' time, you could actually just put on your driver's license that you're a man and you can go into the match <gasps> and you can compete. And she'd be like, don't be a fool now. <laughs> <laughs> she'd be like, so... My career's destroyed? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah you really much. rush it. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in 2009, this is prediction, Al Gore, who was also not a scientist, but mm -hmm. people weren't complaining when this He's was not. being, uh, this was actually being taught as a part of curriculum. Mr. Gore. You mean the rightful president of the United States, yeah. Stephen? Well, I won. I won Florida. I wanted to do a recount. Really? Hold on a second. Why was there opposition to the recount? Mm. I don't know. What counties did you... I only wanted to include three. Only three counties Just for three. the recount. I didn't want to recount the whole state. We're not retired. <laughs> so. I won the popular vote. I'm yeah. a more popular person. Right, yeah. Mm. And then you... Because that counts. Yeah, and then people are like, whoa, dodged a bullet there. <laughs> uh. Can you imagine him during 9-11? Like, hi, hey guys. You have a lot of growing up to do. <laughs> Look on Why the would you I'm want to be president after you've seen what's going on in that office for the previous eight years? Well, it's like we're going to need a deep cleaning. Of yes. Because he saw what went on in that office exactly. for the previous eight years. You just yeah, didn't it's true. break me off a piece of that. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get some chunky just, chicks from the mailroom. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> from now on, I have a rule. I only hire fat interns. Mm. With low self-esteem. Yeah, come on in here. I have something for you. You want a cigar? Yeah, I know you may be asking, how's that a professional qualification? Well, these cigars aren't. It isn't. Smoking. So... <laughs> 2009, he said there would be no more ice in the Arctic by Academy Award, Academy Award, by 2013. The amount that disappeared in 2005 was equivalent to everything east of the Mississippi. The extra amount that disappeared last fall was equivalent to this much. Comes back in the, in the winter, but not as ah. permanent ice, as thin ice, vulnerable. You better not stand on it. The amount remaining... <laughs> <laughs> could be completely gone in summer in as little as five years. Can you imagine him standing on the ice and it's a wonderful life that kids are riding on a shovel? Just, uh, ah! He's just going to go straight down. <laughs> so it's such a knob. I know. It's like just, the dark night. And just to be clear, the ice does, eb you know, there's ebbing yeah. and flowing. So in uh, 2012, there was 1.67 million square miles uh -huh. of Arctic ice. 2013, 2.25. Oh, mostly true. So they, Yeah, so go. most, yeah. Oh, that's what? fine. So there's more. <laughs> well, there was but, more in they, 2013 but hey, they said it was mostly 2012. Are we going to debunk any of this today? <laughs> are we just going to make... Are we the prosecution? Well, we can't Rittenhouse debunk trial? it because there is an updated prediction. Okay. Oh, oh, right. Right. Arctic oh. sea ice could be gone, according to National Geographic, or as I used to call it, the Tube Sock Titty Magazine. Mm. Uh, Arctic uh, sea ice uh. could be gone by the year 2035. They should have pushed that one out a little. Further. You know, come on. Just, <laughs> I mean, sixty is what I was. Give yourselves here. a little slack. Yeah. It's like in my schedule. I started building in an extra ten minutes just yeah. for transportation. Then you'd be like, "Oh man, it happened so much faster than we thought, but we were still right." Right. Mm, can't do that now. Uh, well, here's the thing, though. Al Gore left out. He wanted to focus more on the polar bears and the ice. No. Mm -hmm. That's sad. I mean, how is he gonna? He needs. How's he gonna set up his home bar cart? You mean those yeah. floaty devices that yeah. uh, run around and kill things? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they drink yeah. Coke. Those soulless machines, the soulless killing machines. You mean those lovely <laughs> Christmas bears that yeah. I think you're being pretty.
Tear Do you have any idea what would happen to a seal if he showed up with a Coke to a polar What he bear? deserves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like trying to say. That seal was making eyes at me. <laughs> okay, so Al Gore actually, he left out an important aspect, though, how climate change affects people. And we're not beyond, yeah. obviously, finding some comic True, true. Yeah. Recent study shows that 70% of Americans suffer from climate anxiety. Oh, wow. Uh, and here at Ladder with Carter, we care about people, if nothing else. So um, we actually asked people about it and filmed a, a, a PSA uh, regarding the negative impact mm. of climate anxiety and how it impacts all of our lives. You know, climate change affects me and my familia because, you know, when we were in Guatemala, we had to move over here because we had a big drought. And I lost five of my siblings and I almost lost the other one. And so I just, sorry, okay. I've recently been diagnosed with a very real condition known as climate anxiety. And unfortunately, it's led to a host of neurological disorders, including back spasms, forgetfulness, and impotence. Oh, me? Uh, sorry, yeah, climate change? Uh, I'm not really sure if climate change affects me at all. I don't know, I don't know anything about it. Well, here, I got some uh, information for you. Maybe look this over real quick. I guess, I guess, yeah. Climate change affects me because I'm a veterinarian. And in just two years, 80% of all animals will be dead and I'll be out of a job, but mostly the animal thing. So you're saying people are the problem. I have people at home, a, a wife and two awful stepkids. Climate change affects me, because my family has owned a ski resort for over a hundred years, and now all the snow's melting, and only the tall mountains can stay open. My hope is through sharing my story that somebody else out there might be able to come forward and get treated for this really really real thing that is happening across the world. Now there's no more climate change in my house. I'm going to go to the mall and stop some climate change there. Hmm. Well, hmm. look, none of us has remained unaffected. It's true. What will ski bums do when they have no mountains? Yep. It's true. Well, we'll just probably just use New York City as a public stall. <laughs> well, that's an option. I think that man might have killed his family. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh. No. Mm -mm. I, I just, no, he's fighting climate change. Snow, yeah. snow, snow. I, I want to piss wrong. my name inside of all the snow. So, <laughs> that really is the best part of snow. It is, yeah. But I've never done it well enough where people can You can't rave. Well, well you, can't you know, everyone it. knows that I have now that you guys guys started spreading the rumor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a fire hose. So, <laughs> so um, let's join with fire. the tip. Yes. Yeah. So let's, uh, well, it's not, like it's a, not a wood. Yeah, it's more like a wood burning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> which by the way, that was a wonderful toy to give to an eight year old dad, a wood burning set ah, for yeah. crying out loud. I still have heat. I still have burn marks. Well, what did you learn your lesson? I didn't learn anything. Those things didn't work things at all. Wood burning sets. Yeah, okay. We had it. one of those. Well, it was actually at my grandma's. It was a heater too close to drapes. Yeah. R I V. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, it's because you pushed it there. Mine was a curling That's iron correct. put inside the foot of my bed by my dad. I don't know what lesson was what? taught there. Yeah. Uh, I had a heated blanket. Yeah. Oh. In 1985. Well, my mom would. I actually have good memories of the heated blanket. My do mom would. She would cover. There's a lot of people who don't. Yeah, my mom would cover me in the electric blanket. Unfortunately, she'd do it in the tub. So that yes, was, there's yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> It was location, just location. It's gotta be a bummer, though, to get that news. Uh, they had a heated blanket on and burned alive. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> well, well, it worked. <laughs> so they were warm. Like the two broads in Final Destination in the tanning beds. <laughs> oh yeah, we well, can't get out. Oh, All right. By the way, hey, smash that like button. Do if it. You're now. watching on YouTube, and I uh, and, and and smash. Uh, you can smash the rumble button too, because if we're on YouTube, are we still on YouTube? Hi. Oh yeah. Oh, oh good. We that's are. Right. That surprises me. Yeah. Guarantee you this is going to be labeled for misinformation, of even though they course. won't have any fact check at all. Uh, and you guys can uh, can comment. We're going to move on to some predictions that haven't come true yet, but are yet. currently being made, or newer predictions yeah. anyway. Um, and I want to hear what you guys think these are going to be. Here's one, uh, and we'll be talking about this on Mug Club, Dave and I, specifically about Michigan because we're both Michiganders. Yeah. Uh, you know, the lake is very – it's, it's important to our livelihood there in Michigan. It is. So it's it's really is kind of at the – it's the foundation of the culture, really, yeah. in Michigan. Um, this was in 2013. The prediction was that the Great Lakes were going to disappear. What we're seeing in global warming is the evaporation of our Great Lakes. 
It's a scary thing to think about what this will ultimately do to us. The president is going to face the issue head on. There are some who want to run away from it. They can do that if they wish. And Jackie Treehorn? <laughs> yeah. By the way, they said that they would need decades of rain to restore the levels. Decades. Um, decades. Many, many decades. They yeah. said that like in 2017, I believe. Uh, Lake Huron, Michigan, and Superior set new high water records in January 2020. Hey, well, you did a good job. But they're gone, right? Yeah. The previous records were from the 1980s. Hmm. And uh, <laughs> we fought the climate change. Yeah. Or sorry. Sorry. Wait a second. Are they? Do they all set records? I want to make sure I have that correct. I know Lake Superior set a record. Did they all set high water records in January 2020? I don't know, sir. I know they were all higher than average, and I know Superior said very, very much. Someone can fact check that, so I don't have to admonish myself. I know Lake Superior was a record, but I don't uh, know. Ask the guy who washes my boat. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the governor's husband. Yep, your boat that can't go into the overpass because the water level's too high. That's a thing too. They haven't. They've (laughs) had to redredge harbors, all these because they've made predictions. And by the way, this is something else that I've talked about here. You can run a you can run a search on it or go to loudofcar.com. You know, in Michigan, cherries are very important. They're Biggest, Big one of the biggest exports, or at least they are the top exporter of cherries. A lot of slutty in girls. North America. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. No. And um, cherries. The thing about cherries, because now they say, well, it's not global warming; it's global cooling. And they go, well, it's 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 glo- it's extreme temperatures. Cherries are a very persnickety crop. They require a long, slow thawing winter and moderate spring and summer. Record cherry crop yield. Hmm. Don't worry, you wouldn't know it because the government fixed the price. They fixed the prices, so they oh, they dump cherries yeah. when there's a surplus. That's Don't right. we have homeless people? Couldn't you just get, couldn't you just give them all of the milk that we dump and the cherries? I mean, you need to have some extra bathrooms open. But the point is, we don't have to be. <laughs> They're free starving. Let them eat cherries. Let them eat cherries and let them drink milk. There you go, mm. milk and cherries. I was in that movie. <laughs> yeah, it was Lake Huron, Michigan, and Superior that set records. It set records. Okay. Wow. They really did. Wow. Huh. I was reading. Uh, I was reading some. Mich- uh, I guess M Live is full of crap. <laughs> you, you can't trust. I was reading M-Live. local uh, press, and what I read said that Superior set a, uh, a record, but that Michigan didn't. So, so it's Erie. It's all of them. Well, Huron, Michigan, and Superior. Superior. Yeah. So Erie. Just and the others were higher crap. than average. Yeah. Superior. Who cares? The point is, uh, the starfish are assholes because that's the point. <laughs> no, they're literally. About to that's get the next to. Week, yeah. Yeah. Star- this is another prediction that was made in 2017. You guys all heard about this because we had to talk about it on the show that uh, uh, um, wasting starfish disease is caused oh. by AIDS climate change. Scientists are searching for clues to what's been killing starfish. What is killing sea stars? In some places, 95% of the starfish population has died. Oh no, it's I care so much. Sea star They're jerks. Wasting syndrome, and it causes the marine Ears. animals to die in a particularly <laughs> gruesome way. <laughs> and as the tissue dies, they oftentimes will lose arms. Oh, dang. In college, all I did was kill starfish. They disintegrate. The arms just crawl away. Oh. Okay. Oh. But that arm's like, I'm out of here. Not if Pete Buttkick has anything to say about it. Get mm-hmm. over here. Get back here. He's like, he's like Scorpion. <laughs> so. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> as recently as this year, and going back to 2013, the die-off was attributed to climate change by outlets like the New York Times, the Independent, and of course, they cited scientists. However, actually. Oops. Uh, now, uh, empiricists at Cornell. I don't know if you know this, but uh, uh, Keith Oberman went there. Did he? Oh, I really? went to Cornell. Oh. They feel a thrill up his leg there, that's too. That's where you learn douchebag 101. He did, yes. Yes. Uh, well, mm-hmm. yeah. You could only be so fortunate as to fervently study in the ways of douchebaggery. So, Everyone here <laughs> is related. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So they at Cornell trace the smoking gun to an actual to a virus, the denso virus, actually. Uh, so it's not climate uh. change, it's an actual virus. Here you go. After months of research, scientists have identified the pathogen at the heart of the starfish wasting disease. They say it's different from all other known viruses infecting marine organisms. They've dubbed it sea star associated densovirus. When you look on a scale of hundreds and hundreds of animals, as we did, it's very clear that the virus is associated with symptomatic sea stars. Okay. Did I just see a purple starfish? Mm-hmm. Dreams do come true, said Pete Buttkick. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, his husband. I mean, I own. did that. I'm, I used to have to get a balloon and stretch it. So, whenever I see a purple starfish, I get an ice pack. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, and, and here's the thing where people will say, oh, that's not the number one concern. No, it's not, but this is what they use to manipulate children. I know when I was yeah. a kid and I watched Captain Planet, they had certain myths that they would perpetuate for children. This is what they want to do. We all know that we grew up, we, the kids, the kids in this generation, yeah. the starfish, 
probably their polar bears. You remember yeah. us? It was the polar bears. That's what we were all, all taught. Polar yeah, bears. Yeah, absolutely. There'd be no more polar bears, which I was like, I don't really give a shit. You know what I mean? At a certain point, I'm like, I don't really no. care. Again, I've never met one. It's the same thing they always complain. Like, like, oh, what if we lose all the great whites? But fine. You know, I don't think any, I don't think any surfers are going to like, oh, remember the good old days? No. No. <laughs> what? When you were missing half your hamstring? No. No, no. I'll take my chances with a few extra sunfish. Yeah, there's no one-legged <laughs> surfer that's like, let's save those things. Yeah, let's save those. Let's save those soulless. soulless. Just like the people in that uh, whatever power plant in the thing, you know, yeah. they'd still probably rather take their chances Scientist with the shapeshifter facility. than going out with the polar bears. I'm sure they would love it if it got a little warmer there. Yeah, mm -hmm. for crying out loud. Anyway, this is this brings us to our next prediction that we all grew up with. So you have the empirical, you have the scientific studies that are incorrect, and then these are the ones that they use to tug on your heartstrings, like Leo DiCaprio. Oh, we had to tape the Revenant in uh, uh, Ecuador or some shit. I don't know. I couldn't stop focusing on his man bun. <laughs> Ecuador. So he needs some real shock therapy. Can someone put him on a rotating chair and dip him back into an electrical pool like Shutter Island? I don't know. Like, can you method act that? Okay. It really should be cut off. Yeah. And handed to him like, <laughs> this is dead now. <laughs> Stop like, the it. Samurai should be like, super glued to a shrunken right. head of him. <laughs> so... The polar, this is a prediction uh, in 2020 now. They've revised it because I made this prediction a bunch of times that the polar bear species is headed for extinction. Oh, no. Arctic polar bears are facing near extinction oh, by oh, the really? end of the century if the sea ice they depend on uh, continues to disappear. Oh, no. That's a stark warning from a new study looking at the long term future of the bears as greenhouse gas emissions contribute to the melting <laughs> of the bears' frozen hunting grounds. <laughs> what is that slush thing? They, they put that they put, they put that polar bear in the middle. Of, they do the photo shoot in the middle of Brooklyn. I like that the polar bear is just staring over like, what? what? This is what I well, do. I'll kill yeah. you too. Yeah, Brooklyn, you want to yeah. dance, boy? <laughs> you look edible. <laughs> you know what happens if the polar bears run out of food? They, where they currently are? They, 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 I no, don't actually. Dave, of course, they just sit there and die because they have no intellect. They don't have the ability to go somewhere. They go somewhere else to get more food. Yeah, I well, don't they don't care. have a, a McDonald's for polar bears. Well, the point that's is, that's we where do. we need to build the yeah. wall is to yeah. stop the polar bears from coming over. They're heading south, yeah. boys. That's really dangerous. Yeah. We I'm saying. Could, you could eat them. Oh, my gosh. You need that a sounds like boat. a horrible Pixar movie. It sounds like a horrible... No, more like DreamWorks. Like, well. <laughs> the polar bears are headed south. It's like a polar bear <laughs> and a Hawaiian yeah, like shirt and a surfboard. He's like, line. hey, come on. Watch your old man. Dad. And the mom's like, oh, shake what your mama gave you. I'm going to get a suntan. <laughs> <laughs> Why do all the other bears say we're privileged here? <laughs> <laughs> the black bears, the brown yes, uh, bears. <laughs> yes, Chris Rock as a black bear. <laughs> the problem with polar bears is y'all are into running and fucking. What? This isn't child appropriate. No, Sorry. not at all. See, there's polar bears, and that 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 is grizzly bears, and there's Kodiaks. <laughs> People love a grizzly bear, but ain't nobody got time for a Kodiak. <laughs> all right, DreamWorks, I will sue you. Get on you it. That. <laughs> no, get on it. We need to write that movie. We so, should. <laughs> Call it South for the Wind. At some point, there's going to be a dance montage to I like to move it, move it. You know that shit's going to yeah. happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. They'll, they'll dig up a key. That's one thing I'm not looking Shakira. forward to with my children. The what? The crap that I'll well, have to watch. Enjoy. I can give you a list of good ones. There are some good ones. Yeah, well. You got to go back. Look, time. everything made Grand by them is not, by Hollywood is not awful. No, 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 no. There's some good stuff in there. Where? I well you challenge you have accepted. Prove you have horrible taste, but I <laughs> like I mean other than sport. in wine I'm sure you're good there, but yes. uh, other than that I have you, ugh. I know <laughs> he's lucky he's married for it's a woman a who can decorate his house and Think pick plus, out his clothes. Yeah, well, I did. Apparently no, she you touches didn't. him. Okay, so the no, prediction that the polar bears were going to be extinct. Let me uh, extinct. Let me clarify something now. I, I've talked about this before that there have been more polar bears on record. There have been polar bears increasing significantly. And actually, uh, Philip McLear and Anne McElhinney have talked about this. Uh, but I also understand the counter argument before you make it that methodology has changed and that they didn't really have an accurate head count. But the point is, they're certainly nowhere near being extinct. Now, the point that I would like to address here is the prediction that they were going to be extinct. It stems from this idea that the species, this is important, appeared about 100,000 years ago. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that was around the last ice age and that they wouldn't survive the warming projections. Well, here's the thing, though. Now, scientists say that the species is 500,000 years old. To simplify it, that means that polar bears as a species have survived warming periods that were more severe for longer sustained amounts of time. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. There have been huh. four. Four warmer than now cycles within that time frame, just to be clear. 
What? Why do? By the way, if they weren't around at one point, potentially. Hey, one quick thing. What is Clip J there, Court of Blackyard? I have no idea. Uh, it's a uh, Greta. Oh, okay, right. All right. Oh, so, oh. so if they came about, <laughs> let's say they came about a hundred thousand, five hundred, whatever, just for argument's sake, a hundred thousand years ago, and we're like, oh, we have to do something to protect them. Well, they, yeah. they weren't here before, and things seemed, I guess, fine. The neighborhood was cool then. Yeah. Really, we have to make sure they stay. I, yeah, I so animals do come and go until we get involved. Yeah, absolutely. It true. was like those yeah. stupid Canadian geese where we're like, let's save those from extinction, and they're everywhere. And they're assholes. A they're the worst. Well, they attack they take on airplanes. You. Yeah. yeah, they attack you. They attack you, and they poop like they poop, and they know what they're doing. Like, <laughs> yeah, you think <laughs> ah shouldn't have shouldn't have uh, brought a bunch of us into the apartment complex fake but, pond but sully loves him though sully he's hates like no nah, he loves him because he's like that's how everybody knows me is thanks yeah. to them geese I'm a hero. geese i think he steered into him thanks he probably did <laughs> he's like i can get these hold on <laughs> damn geese yeah he he, when he, yes. he wanted to yes. die and then Sel once he was Sullenberg about to he stopped it <laughs> sullenberger was trying to hit and run geese yeah no he was trying to splat them Come he's on. like hey i think i can get them gooses one two three four five yeah Geese got a ball. Do I score? Oh, oh no! Oh, oh! We lost both engines. Okay. So like, I hate geese to pieces. <laughs> Seriously, though, it is true. We've done this so many times with species. Yeah, yeah. with no, almost yeah, like, like it's nature. Like basically, we've been beating pandas into having sex with each other for the last <laughs> fifteen years. They're like, we want to go extinct. Yeah, they, they don't Let even want to. It's like just have sex with the other one. Yeah, we're giving them like black and white yeah. sex contraptions. Like, hey, look, look, like. <laughs> Pandas is just sitting there. Um, like, that's not even sexual. That's just not even That's not going to help you procreate. Is there any? You do what you want. Over there? That panda is a half and half, and I don't care for I don't it. Care for Ain't it, welcome at my dinner table. Lighting aromatherapy <laughs> candles we got from Body Shop. No offense, QB. What, pandas? What? You're too good to fuck. <laughs> oh, go in the hole. Are you too good for the hole? <laughs> You're too good for <laughs> Go in your home. <laughs> oh my gosh! Seriously, yeah, pandas don't. Pandas just want to eat bamboo. Yeah, you know, they just want bamboo. You know what pandas need? Pandas need their own little uh, species to appreciate what they've got. Ah, That's true. They do. That's true. But if that mini ice age comes, what are they going to do now? I don't even know that it affects them. I don't know either. Apparently, bamboo is really sustainable. Which, by the way, I think bamboo is mostly bullshit. Just to be clear. They're like, hold what? on a second. It can be bed sheets. Like it bamboo? can be wooden textiles, and you can eat it in your yeah. Thai curry. Nope. It can. <laughs> don't, nope. don't believe it. Yes, I don't indeed. buy it. I don't buy it. It's like the peanut. Well, you tell me <laughs> that when you turned collard greens into a nice throw rug. So, uh, after bringing down it. all of these failed predictions, I think that we've all come to a conclusion, naturally. You can shove your climate crisis up your arse. You can shove your climate crisis up your arse. You can shove your climate crisis. You can shove your climate crisis. You can shove your climate crisis up your arse. You know, I agree. I couldn't have said it better. I don't know All why she sings kids songs though. Hmm. I don't know. Could be a correlation. I have a guess, but I'm not allowed to say it. She's gonna do itsy bitsy spider next. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Itsy bitsy climate change went up the people <laughs> spout. <laughs> <laughs> Down came acid rain and kill all the people out. Oh, so sad. I actually thought you were going to say, Down came the hobo piss and washed the New York City out. <laughs> DiCaprio has a That's honestly gone. how you know your city sucks, when hobo piss is cleansing. I live there. There's That's nothing sterile. shocking about that photo. No, nothing. Yes, That's just where their bathroom is. Hobos pissing in your streets in Manhattan is basically an Herbal Essences commercial for... Yeah. New the York. real problem is camera phones uh, in general, because that would have been taken care of by a simple nudge of a cab. <laughs> <laughs> Like in the good old days. That's the problem now. Hey, bird oh. scooters don't have enough velocity. Exactly. Because really. Yeah. What I mean, it's a less, less it's a hobo kid, but you know, you can take him out anyway. Well, no. Yeah, you're right. It could be a hobo kid. Yeah. I don't need a scooter Sing, for that. Singing scooter, about pickpocketing. Just a good push kick. You could get Come on, gang of hobo you. kids. Yeah. Got to pick a pocket or two. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to piss in a street or two. <laughs> Extra, extra, read all about Hey, this is yesterday's newspaper. We already have your 20. Get him. All right. Bait him to death in the street. <laughs> yeah. Oh, listen, sir. I'm just, a, I'm just a homeless pickpocket trying to sell me papers. You just say you were a pickpocket, boy. I said paper salesman. Today I pushed a dandy man in front of the subway train. Yeah, but it was his fault. He was pissing on the third rail. He was. 
Less carbon. When I when I went to push him away, I, I gave myself a shock. Ronald fell in. <laughs> All right, so look, we're going to, uh, by the way, I want you to comment. You guys can let us know. What prediction do you think has been the most pernicious? Mm. All references, all sources available at ladderwithcredit.com. There's a lot to comb through. Um, and I want to be clear that, uh, look, we, we're not, this isn't falling on deaf ears. That obviously there are two sides to every issue. Mm. Um, and as you know, that YouTube is really, they've really been, they've really been on our buttocks lately. A little bit. So we're actually going to start incorporating at least one progressive segment into every show okay. to uh, diversify like fair time, the wonderful yeah. programming that this is. So before, yeah. we'll go to Mug Club, and actually uh, 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 Dave and I are going to be talking about uh, Michigan specifically. But before that, for YouTube to appease them, uh, I want you to uh, please, YouTube, enjoy this uh, latest installment of Climate Changers. Climate Changers, Climate Changers. Whoa, where did you guys come from? That's not important right now. But what is important is what you can do to stop climate change. What I can do? Yep, even you. I noticed you had your AC running. Mind if we take a look? Listen guys, I know climate change is really important, but my apartment gets really hot this time of year. I just can't turn it down. Down? I want you to make it colder. Make it colder? Look here, it's only set to 68, but let's go lower. Here we go, 54. Now it's really pumping. Now let's get these windows open. I don't think this is really helping because now it's all just going outside. Exactly, it's going back outside into the climate. Whoa, you're right. Yeah, now check this out. Normally, 99% of air conditioning is trapped inside buildings and wasted when absorbed by humans and walls. But instead, if we simply opened our windows, the AC would still cool us a little bit, and the rest would go outside to slightly lower the temperature of the air. Wow, that's amazing. Although, I do feel pretty selfish for hogging air conditioning to myself. That's okay, as long as you're learning. That's what really matters. Well, this is really great to know and all, but I just can't help but wonder if it's making any difference. Well, just because you can't feel the temperature change over time doesn't mean it's not happening. Just like the Hamburger Man. Who, who is the Hamburger Man? It makes a difference. As of right now, the world has 1.9 billion air conditioning units. On our own, it may seem like we can't make that big of a difference, but just think, if we all listened to science and cranked up that AC. You know what? I've got a few more windows in my bedroom we can open right now. Ha, <laughs> 54. Better make that 52. Now you got it. Science! Science.